Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris in Word Perfection for version 2.8 of the game. I'm your host, Colors Fade, it's episode 21, Lucky Episode 21. And here we are in the year 2440, we're in the middle of a war with these people who keep putting too many corporate offices on us, on our on our spaces, that the devourers of run. So instead of doing what we've been doing the whole entire game and we keep fighting corporate wars with them to push and force them to close their branch offices, we decided to go with the impose ideology as, an, as a war goal because I don't know exactly what that's going to do. The war goal talks about if you end in a status quo. Any of the planets that you have managed to capture will f splinter off and form a federation that is more closely held to your ideals. But why I want to know is, what ha it, that tells you what happens if there's a status quo. I want to know what happens if I achieve my war goals. Do I impose my ideology on the devourers of Zrun? And if I do, is that going to stop them from putting corporate offices on my... <laughs> my planets so that's what i really want to know so that's what we're working on and i've and i've lost a couple of fleets of uh of uh, soldiers because of stupidity so we're gonna have to go back and and create some more which is which is tedious but okay I'm go back in here and i'm gonna say Just gonna recruit eight for each one. There's a there's a big old storm going on. We have the Xeno army, Xenomorph. We've got those Ridley Scott aliens, which I know right away somebody's gonna go. They're not Ridley Scott's aliens. They're H.R. Giger's aliens. They are H.R. Giger's amazing, and that is H.R. Giger's designs are the only part of Yadorowski's Dune that I would have liked to have seen. Uh, I would have liked to have seen that part. But the rest of it, no. Um, I am. I, I watched the documentary Yadorowski's Dune. Dune is my favorite book. Uh, I love it. I, I, I got the book put in my hands at 14 years old. And I just soaked it right up, and then I went and, and read the the five sequels, and I loved all of them. They're amazing. Oh look, what do we have? So how do we how do we have this? Is it and it's because of corporate? Yeah, we're gonna let's see what we can do about that with this war. But yeah, I, I don't even want to get into it on this channel. All of the all of the problems I have with Yodorowsky's doom. Uh, let's do this. How many of you are there? There's 930? Okay, good. Get down here. Let's get down here, because I have a feeling if we can conquer a few more planets, we can get them to capitulate. And that would be fantastic. Fantastico. Very much like to see that. You guys are over here. Can I get you to jump over here? Ten days away, and you can go take Telianok. Okay, go here, land armies. Take that. I'm gonna keep you war boys warring. Uh, Invading Zeno land. Zeno land secured. And then uh, model sixteen expungers. We don't like you. That's good. They're they're a robot uprising from up here, and I really don't care about them. <laughs> Not my problem, buddy. <laughs> Invading Zeno Lair. Not my problemo. Oh yeah, and so that reminds we me. We have mastered a new technology. What I'd like to do. Edict duration. Over here, let's see. We got a bunch of guys. How many do we have yet? Not enough. We need more. You got them. That's great. Go over here. We have to declare. Oh, they they already grabbed it. Okay, they got that system. Well, good for them. I got an idea for you then. It's going to be a long, long trek, but I want you to come up here and go take this. 
Oh, we can't. We have to declare war. Our neighbors gathered that. Okay. Awesome. Um, where would you like to go then? Can you go? Can you manage to move up to here? Fat, it's a special Situation project. Reaching update. for the orb. Can we come up here and grab these? That'd be great. While we're there, then, why don't you sit? Just land on it and sit there. And why don't you come over here and land there? get to 16 minus 16 we're gonna make this happen this is gonna be fantastic we have a new technology. I don't quite know what this is gonna bring for us but okay rings one more of those so let's start off with a chemical plant and a gas. And a couple more crystals there. And ring B needs leaders. Gas and moats. And ring C needs the same thing. Moats. We have mastered a new technology. And ring D. Mastered the new technology we have 18k. We're almost to 20k for research, which is nice. And so what I need to do is I need to start getting getting to work on the next ring world. So let's grab civilian ships. I know we got some construction over here. Mega structure, mega structure. Ring world, where are you? Come over here. And I want you to build the next ring world right here at Bagoro. Build a ring world construction site right there. Thank you. Let's go get we that. Have a new world for our Excellent. This should be Kiam. Nice. Let's get you uh, some robots. That's going to make you an agro world. Do that. Build all that stuff. So I like that. This fleet right here. What do we got? We said. Okay, and you got your Titan in there. And we just said now we just need to reinforce. Start building. Let's get that fleet going. I've got guys on the way up there. Yep, you're going over there. System survey complete. Excellent. The storms are slowing you guys down, and that's understandable. Totally understandable. Yep, and we got other attackers who have joined in, so they're helping to make this a little easier. It's very nice. 91%, we're down to 14. Invading Zeno Lair. How are you guys doing? You've done all this. Can you uh, survey that? Xeno Lair secured. Okay, good job. So you did that, and then there's one more in here, isn't there? There's that planet, and there's this one. Okay. You guys thought you could just keep putting branch offices on us and we would just leave you to do it. We'd go to war with you every 15 years or so and we have mastered and that would be the end of it. Nope, homie. Ain't gonna happen that way. <laughs> eh, minus 10%. That's nice. Um, Invading Zeno Lair. Okay, hold on. I need you, 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 you. Zeno Lair. Oh, you guys come here. Invading Zeno Lair. I like it. Let's keep invading. Okay. 
Let's keep invading. Put the crunch on these guys. Let's take you and go out to the end there and get that. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of stuff up here, isn't there? Okay. I got a plan for you. Let's go. Let's go up there and take that out. Why don't you leapfrog over there? Beta Kale! Who's this? Galactic Havel. They're gonna take that back. Excellent. Minus seven. Go put the herd on in there. Oh yeah, we just leapfrogged and now you came over here and you're like, Hey, hey guys, we're going to come in here and take this system back from the have roll. Did you know the second fleet is on its way? Because war, war never changes. Here it comes. Yep. I would I would encourage you all to fly away. Oh, my guys are just going to fly straight for this thing first, huh? They're like, no, we have to take the system down first. Oh, but they killed all the guys on the way, didn't they? You guys just trashed them. Oh, man, that's nice. Okay, do this. Go there. And go here and here. They made me fly out to here. <laughs> we have mastered a new technology. A new technology. Energy weapon attack speed and energy weapon damage. How are we doing now? Minus six. Get up here and crunch the rest of this, maybe. That would do it. What if you good folk here at 1k started to move your way up to here? Let's go capture the rest of this, and this might be enough to, to finally finish them off, eh? You can hope. Because who is this? The Galactic Cavalry Authority has that up there. Okay, that's good. Yeah, we're... System survey complete. We're down in the nitty-gritty here. There's not much left. Let me go down here and grab these because every system counts a tiny little bit. It's planets and ships getting destroyed that really count, but the rest of it also counts. So, what are you guys doing? Hurry up and get over there, will you? Scum and villainy, I'm sure. We're trying to put an end to it. Yeah, turds. Oh, you guys don't have anybody. You don't have any precinct houses. Well, you're gonna. That'll help. Alright, what's over here that we need to vote on? Underdeveloped systems utilization. I'm gonna oppose that. I really want this war to go my way. Minus four. That's kind of huge. We're getting there. Get over here. <laughs> He's gonna snake around and loop to loo and get all of that. This guy going in here and crunching these guys here. This could put an end to it. Um, how can you get over there? Where's this? Right there. Go there. We'll take that over. Then we'll leapfrog through. These guys are on their way. Oh my goodness, so much. So much. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna play next for Stellaris. Um, actually, it's gonna be really curious. I'm gonna be curious to know if by the time this video comes out, because listen, this is episode 21 as I'm filming this, and as I'm filming this, 
the previous 2.8 series isn't even finished on my channel yet. It's not even, it's not all put out because I try to put out one episode a day. So I'm going to be really curious if by the time you're watching this, 21, about 25 days later, if, if we have a date, a for sure date for the next expansion. If we know when the next one's going to be coming out. Because um, if we know that, that could be, that could be pretty cool. That could be, that could be a good time. Come on, gentlemen. Get over here. Let's go put the herd on him. That storm. Unknown signal. A weak but insistent signal transmits on repeat. That's the signal we just flew into. It's like, yes, I know. We're going to go right in there. Oh, you can't go in there? Tell you what. Can you just jump? What do you mean? What do we have to do here? What do we have to do to... These guys can't stay protected behind that. Explore natural world. Huh? Can you guys just go in there now? Now can you go? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Scum and villainy. Yeah, we're trying to put an end to it. And this might do it. Okay, not the planet, but let's say, because we're at we're at zero. We're almost there. That's how close we are. Uh, where is the you guys? Come here. You know how to get there now. Come over here and land on this. If you get Frig Friggallen, you'll finish it off. Then everybody can go home. And then maybe we won't have corruption. There we go. Pure, I'd have unestimated your net value, Maine Coons. Rest assured, it will not happen again. So, what's that mean? We have mastered a new technology. We can no longer use the expropriation Cassie spell. We can no longer use expropriation. The devourers of Zurun is forced to adopt the ethos and government form of main coon isolationist. Oracle Sassadem Kari Yahal is forced to abdicate. <laughs> so where are they? What are they called now? What are these guys? They're the Convisum Absorbers? The Devourers of Zurun? The Convisum Absorbers. And they're pathetic and they currently have neutral relations. Xenophobic isolationist. Oh man. <laughs> so so since they're xenophobic isolationists, they shouldn't be putting stuff on our planets anymore, should they? There should be no more corporate. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's what we should have done from the beginning. Oh okay, now I understand. For sure, that's what I was hoping for. Oh man, we managed to come out there and, and rip them. Oh gosh. Oh, that's a thing of beauty. Oh, I'm so happy these guys don't have a home fleet. Make them uh, the war shipyard war station. Set there, assign the base, return. Oh gosh, that's awesome. Now for a little while here, we'll just be able to focus on our empire and our growth. Oh my gosh. And we can get the yep, we can get you down here. Sweet. We could make the whole entire galaxy isolationists. Oh, they have to adopt our ethos. <laughs> they can no longer be a corporate entity. <laughs> How great is that? How great and look at this. Oh yeah, we're all perfectly happy now. <laughs> And we're purging. We what are we purging? I have to know what we're purging. Criminals! <laughs> Criminals. So what are we doing? We got negative growth. We're not declining anybody. It's just we've got negative jobs. We have negative jobs because we're getting rid of criminals. Oh, that's awesome. I like the whole ethos thing. And forcing people to, to do that. That's awesome. Oh man, I'm I'm beyond thrilled. That's so cool. Okay, transport fleets. 
I want all you guys to come to there. Ring world complete. Awesome. It's a great day. Habitable section. Call nice. Oh, this is great. This is right in time. This is timely. Ring A3. <laughs> this was really timely. Oh, man. I'm having a good day now. Ring B3. I'm thrilled. C3PO and ring D4. Alright. Wow. Okay, and then we got this other ring world that's just. Yep, it's like, hey, I'm ready to go for the next part. Oh, sweet. Yep, we just told all those guys in Mira to colonize. So now we can go up here. Oh, and what do we have over here? Yep, this Starbase station. Let's get you ready to go. Oh, hot dog. I'm so thrilled. We have mastered a new technology. I am thrilled. And you guys are going to need defenses. Yes. Awesome. And now we can get set up for the endgame crisis because it's 2444 and that's going to be the next thing that rears its ugly head. Fantastic. Awesome. Wow. I am in a good mood from all of that. That was really cool. There was probably someone 15 or 10 episodes ago saying, why don't you just impose your ideology? That'll fix the problem. Well, we got there. <laughs> That's the thing. It's like, I don't... I don't have all the answers and I'm learning as I go and I like that process of learning as I go. It's fun. I dig it. What I've done with my tutorials on this site is just tried to explain things for newbies, but I'm still I'm still quite a bit of a noob myself. In a lot of ways even after even after what is it almost 1200 hours now. It's like, holy goodness. Black Hole Observatory. Yeah, grab that. So, defense is here. Give me Ion Cannon. Yeah, so this is just... This is beautiful. Beautiful. And who's doing what here for trade? Maine. What are you doing? Are you a trade hub? Yeah, but I need one more hub on you, don't I? Because you got to stretch one, two, and you got to grab trade from there. Okay, let's go take care of our planets. Wow, that was awesome. Maine Coon says, I have lost to bureaucracy. Let's move you to one of the other ring worlds like Rolling D2. Because you'll get a job there. Unfortunate. Grenier says the same thing. It's like I don't have, I don't have anything to do with this leader. That's fine, guys. It's okay if you got leaders that don't have jobs. We'll just move them to ring worlds because it's the place where the jobs are going to become available. There's going to be one there. I'm just thrilled. That worked out really nicely. No more branch offices from those punks. Oh, the, the criming. That is just so funny. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just laughing. It's, <laughs> that was really cool. I really liked the way all of that played out. Here, we have a little bit of a problem in that you guys are going to need some more living space. So what we'll do is give you luxury residences. And then uh, raise other people up to take those jobs. In fact, you're probably going to need two luxury residences. And then everybody else can take up the slack in the job market there. Okay, you got crystals down. Let's go. Exotic acids. 
those, those. Might as well do these. Then you can do all city district jobs. Winkwort. I'm not going to grow because I don't have any more jobs. Well, we'll create some. We have mastered a new technology. How are we doing for bureaucracy? We're doing pretty good. Mastered new technology. Energy weapon attack speed has fallen behind damage, so let's get that caught up. Roshcom, this is a... We started this out as a bureaucratic world right here, administrative offices, but I don't think we're going to need them. So I think what I'd rather do is, uh, because of all the housing space, I'd definitely like to use it on something that complete. needs to be lifted up. Actually, you know what? We're doing really good because we have the... Guarantee revoked. Okay. I'm doing really good with what we have going on. Because of our ecumenopolis, so. So we'll just keep working this. This becomes, oh, what do we have here? You guys need some, need some lubbins. Let's do this. What is this, Ophiel? We haven't even decided what we're doing with this one either. Um, we have let's do strongholds on it. Because strongholds create their own housing. So on a planet that doesn't have a lot of housing, because we've used up all the other districts, it's a, they make a nice choice there. The veil. I'll tell you what I really wish I was playing today. Oop, let's not do a strong hold there. Let's do something that will give them amenities. What I really wish I was playing was, was System Shock. <laughs> that demo. That demo slayed me. It was so good. <laughs> I just I just finished doing the full demo playthrough video for it and I'm still in awe of what they did and I can't wait to play the whole thing I just cannot wait I'm so excited for what's coming very excited for what's going to be coming down later on when they get to when they get to the point where they can uh, release the whole thing. What do we have here? What didn't pass? Repeal Comfort of the Fallen. Colonization efforts begun. As long as nobody wants to repeal greater than ourselves, I'm fine. That's the, that's the thing I will not stand for. What do you get? You guys need some jobs? So let's do that. 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 Let's go in here. Get rid of the giant Westeros ice wall. Colonization efforts here is yeah. So here's this. Here are these ring worlds. We got to get these taken care of. Colonization Precinct houses. Yeah, because they don't have. And we have to entertainers first. Let's do that. That'll fix some of it. Colonize effort efforts have begun. That's super. Yeah, ring B2, same situation. Precinct houses, this. Make sure you're... Those guys are there. Precinct houses, there. And then you can go in here and you can say, okay. One of each. Storm dissipates. That's what we like seeing. Oh, and you gotta wait till they're raised up capitals before you can start putting refineries on. So, yay! Oh my gosh, things are starting to look reasonable. <laughs> and this will get Ministry of Protection because it's gonna have more than enough housing to deal with that. 
You guys can resettle your leader to one of these ring worlds. That'll be able to make use of it sooner than you will. Same thing with you. Pretty exciting. I like this. This is cool. Oh yeah, every single one of these worlds should get a research institute because it adds when it's upgraded it adds 25% to all of the researching on these ring worlds which is you're cranking out a lot so oh this needs an upgrade before I can do it research ring A you didn't have one so what I'm gonna do is remove one of these gases and put it here because we'll boost that up we're at 21% right now which is pretty awesome 18,500 for that. Shields are falling behind. Let's get them caught up. Super. This is all you want to see is a shortage of housing. And I love greater than ourselves. It's just... Oh, and you guys actually have some jobs. What do you got for jobs? Well, guess what? Boink. <laughs> Build more. Oh. It makes everything so nice over here. And then, yeah. Fear campaign and education recycle. Am ambition architecture. That's the one that's got to stay on. Architectural renaissance. So, that's brilliant. We have mastered a new technology. Excellent, I say. Excellent. Awesome. <laughs> The Con Visum Absorbers. Well, they don't like us anymore, but I don't care. Because the important part is their inward perfection. <laughs> Xenophobic isolationists. And now what about these guys? The Bothrian Combine. What are they? Xenophobic isolationists. <laughs> we could make the whole map. Xenophobic isolationists. Who else could we do next? The Galactic Havel. <laughs> They're imperialists. Yeah, they'd be good ones to do. The Akbar conglomerate. What are they? Peaceful traders. Hmm, peaceful it says. A new technology. Yeah. Better be peaceful. Be the next on my hit list. <laughs> These guys down here, the cons. What's left of the cons? The new Demazon Conate. These guys have to go. The new Demazanian Khanate. They are just cons and they're militaristic and xenophobes. They've got three planets. Um, going and conquering them. Do they have any backup? That's all I want to know. Do they have a defensive pact with anybody? Are they getting it? This is has a non aggression pact, has a commercial pact. Independence guaranteed by the Aklar conglomerate. Okay. They're peaceful traders. Yeah. Their independence is guaranteed. I don't think you guys would want to go to war with us. I don't. I, I just don't think so. I don't. Th you don't have a home base. Oh well. Everybody gets the same home base, and it is the war station. But I'm gonna leave you right there. What I want to do is get all my fleets ready here. Does anybody need upgrading? Fourth fleet, reinforce. Ships have been upgraded. This fleet's good to go. It says, what is this? Fifth fleet? Command limit on the fifth fleet. Oh, they got they got some stuff being built. Okay. And the seventh fleet, they just don't have a leader. Oh, we got some available ones. I need to build another fleet then, because I have a leader that's available. <laughs> uh Okay, where are we at with this? What if we stop selling all of these? Cancel, and what about this? 29 rare crystals, so we don't need to buy any of those anymore. We have mastered a new technology. 21 volatile moats, so we don't need to buy those. We're still way behind on exotic gases. Okay. All right. That's not too bad to only be way behind on that one thing. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with this whole situation. It feels really cool. The 
separate some of these guys. I love this little piece of music here. It's always really nice. Got 2k. You can get out of there. Join. We're going to have two nice little armies here. Good job, folks. Wow. By luck of the draw, this almost always comes on at the end of an episode, but we're only halfway through this one. Oh, so... Can I get a ship up there before the 10 years runs out? Let's see if we can. I need civilian fleets. Construction. How close do you have to be? Get up there. Move here. If you can get up here and leapfrog over to here, that'd be fantastic. Then we can capture this. <laughs> and then we can build a gateway. And we can have this little chunk of change too. That'd be wonderful. What's a victory screen look like? Oh, we're, we're doing really well. I'm very happy that this worked because like I was saying at the very beginning in episode number one, I have sucked at making inward perfection work. I've had a really hard time with it. I tried four times before I got my current species figured out. Before I made the main coons, I had tried four different times to make inward perfection work. And I had failed miserably every time. And I tried a variety of different uh, civics and ethics and focuses when I was when I was going. And I, and it's not that I had bad starts. Um, I don't think this start was any worse than any of the other ones I had. And I don't think it was any better either. It was just the start that I had. It, it worked. But then, <laughs> then when I was watching <laughs> Jennifer Shurrell, Shurrell, Shurrell? Jennifer, how do you pronounce your name? The, the developer on Twitter. And uh, she keeps posting pictures of her two all-white Maine Coons. And they're just amazing, gorgeous cats. They look like something out of a fantasy storybook. They're pretty incredible cats. And I kept thinking, I, I want to do a cat base rate. Maybe an isolationist would be kind of perfect. Because I've grown up with cats. I've always had cats. And... I've had some friendly cats, some really, really friendly cats, and those are my favorites. But a lot of cats, a lot of cats are just very, very much like to be alone a lot of the time. They come see you when they want attention kind of thing. So I thought, I, I saw this picture as I was scrolling through looking for another race to make for inward perfection, and it just made total sense to me. It was like, oh yeah, isolationist, cat, Maine Coon, heck yeah. <laughs> and, and fortunately, this worked. This fanatic xenophobe, pacifist, inward perfection, mining guilds, later on efficient bureaucracy, all this. Um, but the, I think the key thing was, I think any one of these inward perfection, any of, the, any of these, any inward perfection of civics and the governing ethics that make it match, I think it all works. I think that the key is what you, the player, focus your attention on early. You have to focus on alloys, and you have to focus on ships, and you have to have some kind of fleet that can and and choke points that can repel enemies and keep them at bay. Because if you don't, you're screwed. But if you do that, if you really focus, I know it sounds so counterintuitive. It's like uh, reverence for life. What is this? Diplomatic weight from fleet power? No, oppose. It sounds really counterintuitive to think, oh, inward perfection, I'm going to turtle up and I'm going to research and I'm going to leave the rest of the galaxy alone and they'll leave me alone. But it doesn't work out that way. We have claimed a new world I've never our... played a species so militarily aggressive as this one. That's what had to happen. Is I had to play it super militarily aggressive. Um, ring B3, we're going to turn this into a commercial ring room. Because we're running short of com consumer goods. And this provides uh, those jobs. So, Yeah, so I think just focusing hardcore on military. And saying, this is what we're going to do. From the very beginning. And really focusing everything on alloy creation and ship creation. And expanding as fast as you can and getting your choke points and then also spending all those alloys on, on def defensive platforms. That to me was the key. 
I think that's what made it work. And that, that would be the focus the next time I played in perfect, Perfection. I can guarantee you that would be the thing I'm going to do. Ring D, I think I'm also going to make a trade bro. Uh, I think I'm going to make two of these just so I have them. Just so they're... We have mastered a new technology. Let's see. Commercial. And then, hold on, let's look at that. This is down here. At, was that Hyposcorient or whatever? Nope, it's not that one. Gang Wars, I had it. It's a war zone. Why? Oh, because there's leftover Gang Wars. That's fine. So, I want to go back to this. Dressel, cool. So where is this ring world over here? It's not Mira, is it? Ring A3. Oh, it is. So how come you guys aren't in? Yeah, you are. How come... Oh, we're missing... Oh, we're missing a governor. Oh, and we have crimes. Oh, bye-bye, Andy Bennett. Sorry, he can't be a part of this empire. Who who was that then? Which sector was that? Complete. Where was the crime one? Which sector? The veil right there. Okay. You can have this anti cram person right there. Complete. End of the Model 16 Expengers. Nice for them. Yep, so focus entirely on military stuff as an inward perfection. And if you do that... Oh, end of the Ketling Star Pack. Oh. Bummer for them. That's going to hurt. But that's that's my take on it. Is focus entirely on military for inward perfection. You do that... You can keep your head afloat. You can stay above water. And you'll be okay. Otherwise, you're in trouble. <laughs> it's, you, you do what ended up on my first of several playthroughs with it. Is that, uh, that other people come in and they take you over. And that's just... That's no good. That's no good, no good, no good, baby, you're no good, so. Uh, you guys are gonna be done. Just want you to spend the last little bit of housing jobs right there. Ringwald says, hey. Okay, so now you got entertainers, yeah. You just gotta wait for people to show up. Mastered a new technology, but all in all, I am I'm quite happy with this. This turned out really well. I guess every single one of these ring worlds should get strongholds too. I should be doing that, making sure that they they get those. Get them all set up like that. Look at that. There's a big, huge ring world sector. There was it. Non-aggression pact from the Khan Vissim of Zora. Sure. Well, I don't want to be aggressive to you guys. I just wanted you to stop putting your branch offices on my planets and creating all that corruption. <laughs> but you wouldn't stop. Your ethos demanded that you keep doing it. So I had to do the only thing I could. I had to put a stop to it. There was, I had no choice. There was absolutely nothing I could do there. It was a tough position to be in. I don't want to have to do that thing, but you make it so hard. You don't give me choice. So 
so that's too bad. The rest of this is just trying to create jobs. We have mastered a new technology. Oh, this is not. This was going to be refineries, and we changed it. And I think it's because of some bonuses here. Yeah, artisan output. So because of the artisan output, I'm just going to load this thing up. They're not going to get refineries. We have mastered a new oh my goodness, we just keep mastering things. Right and left. Master, master, master. Let's see. 19. Yeah, okay, we're almost up to 200,000 on those, I think. Himpra. What do you like to be? Let's get you finished off. So you're going to have so many cities it won't matter. Um, let's take one of you and replace it with it. Three ag districts maybe? Let's see if that'll work. Pretty excited about this whole thing though. Now I'm just waiting for the crisis. It's like, uh, it's, it's, that's a really interesting topic. Well, I've got 15 minutes to talk about it. Um, minor military sanctions. I see so many people on the Facebook groups. I see this question pop up every couple of months, and it is, has any has anybody else not played to the victory screen? I honestly don't know how you people do that. I don't know how you play and not play far enough to see the victory screen. Some guy the other day said he had 4,000 hours in Stellaris, and he'd never seen a victory screen. And he wrote he wrote on Facebook that, he plays on the Thousand Star Galaxies, which that is just gigantic. I, I, I feel pretty confident in my rig, but I think that would slow it down. And he turns the end date off. So, okay. But if I did that, I'd want to conquer the galaxy. I wouldn't want to just randomly play. I'd want to see the end. Oh, and I can't do anymore anyways. I can only do three at a time, so. Yeah, so the idea that you play and don't see the end game, I'm sure there's a lot of people do that. And, and that's the other thing. Secondary to that question of, you know, does anybody else play and not reach the end screen? There's also a lot of people ask, I've never seen the crisis. The people are like, I've got 400 hours in the game, I've got 500 hours in the game, I've never seen an end game crisis. And I'm just thinking, what? <laughs> what? No, you gotta play till the end game crisis. And here's the thing. Most irritating envoy. If I would have mastered a new technology. This is my first time playing on Admiral difficulty with scaling, and if I'd have thought for one second that that I was gonna have this much success doing it, I would have moved the the crisis up sooner. because um, you can affect it by changing the end game year. Cause I, I believe the crisis's appearance is determined by what year the end game is and if you put the end game to 2500 which is the default which is what i usually said to that then it usually shows up anytime between now at 2450 and the end uh, i usually see it between 2460 and 2480 uh, that's usually the window of opportunity so it'll be interesting to see when it decides to pop up in this particular game I think, hmm, this planet's going to need some luxury residences. The thing to do might be to just turn it into a full mining planet. Forget about the city housing and use luxury residences there because we need all of this. Well, we're, and we're still selling a lot. That's nice. We're still selling a ton. How are we doing there? 18 exotic gases. We can crank that down. Yes, I am I am thrilled for the idea of the System Shock demo coming out. I mean, not the demo, but the full game coming out and doing a full playthrough on my channel. I can't wait for that. I'm going to be so excited when that day comes. That is probably going to be one of the most excited instances of me waiting for a game ever. 
I'm going to be absolutely thrilled when that finally shows up. So that's on my radar. Peace from the Galactic Hevel and the Bothrian Combine. Nice. That took them a little longer. And then there are several other games still sitting in my Steam library, like I'm sure there is for you, that I would like to give attention to, and I need to spend some time digging into them. I got, I've got a few games recently, and, and I have a few old games too. For instance, uh, one of the things that I'm actually going to start playing today when I get done recording this video is, um, oh, what the hell is that game called? Let's see. Hold on. Not interested. Move along. Oh, yeah. Mastered a new technology. Wasteland 2 Director's Cut is a game I own. I want to play that because I have Wasteland 3. And Wasteland 3 may end up being a game that I very much want to actually show on the channel. I don't know. But I wanted... I, I saw it. It looks so much like Fallout 1 and 2. And it just looks like it's right up my alley. So I want to play that. I also bought the Dyson Sphere program game which is an early access and, and I've heard really good things about. Uh, it looks really cute. I played for probably half an hour the other night. I really, it seemed like a slightly different version of No Man's Sky, except it, it, it seemed like it might be a more enjoyable version of No Man's Sky. I don't know. Like I was saying in one of these other videos from in the last week or so, No Man's Sky to me has become No Man's Planet. They just haven't done anything with the sky part of it. Uh, flight, space flight in No Man's Sky is so boring. Uh, the pirates are boring. The pirate missions are boring. The other ships are boring. The freighters are boring. They look cool. The game looks cool and flying around is cool, but all you're really doing is going from one point to the other. It's just like jumping on your horse in Witcher 3. It's like, oh, it's a horse, great, but it's not the interesting part of the game, you know. And so Dyson Sphere program looks like it might be. It, I mean, there was resource gathering, and it looks like there's a lot of building and stuff. And I thought, well, it's going to be like No Man's Sky, where you're building a base or whatever. But this might be more involved and more interesting, and you can just skip the whole sky part since No Man's Sky is skipping it anyways. So I'm curious to spend some more time in Dyson Sphere program and see how interesting that actually is. Ambition, will to power, I don't need to turn on right now because it's a ten. Um, so I'm I'm interested in that. I really want to dig into the Wasteland games, though. I want to play Wasteland two and then and then decide if I think that Wasteland three is something that might be good for the channel because I would like to play. That I'm and I'm always looking for really good indie games to play, which is why Dungeon of Nahobok is still being featured. Um, by the time you guys watch this, I might be done with that, but I've really enjoyed that game, even for my little bit of griping on it. I've still really, really enjoyed that game. I'm and Dyson Sphere program is an independent game from an independent studio too, so I'm, that's another reason I might want to put some of that on the channel. Uh, because I would like to spend more time featuring smaller studios that make great games. Um, because I think, for one thing, I think they deserve it. And for another thing, I think people are getting tired of watching big studios fail upwards. And I would like to really start putting an emphasis on these smaller studios that are busting their butts to make great games. And and the Dungeon of Nahlbach is a great example. That is a small little French indie studio from what I understand. Now, I, I say small. I don't know how big they are, but I can't imagine they have the same kind of staff that puts together something like Cyberpunk or Witcher 3 or something like that. I think their their staff is probably really considerably small compared to that. And I think they deserve amplification because their game is awesome. They had a clear vision for what they wanted that game to be. And they put it out there. And oh my god, it's like bug free, basically. It's smooth as butter. The humor is great. The voice acting is funny. The combat is fantastic. They did all kinds of things with turn-based combat I never would have thought to do. The whole teamwork aspects and being able to kick a guy and get attacks of opportunity. And I can see a bunch of different ways to build your team based on all the different rules they've given us. 
uh, I could see playing through that two or three more times and, and building out your team differently and playing the game a different way. I, t I started out because I saw the teamwork stuff and thought I want to play with everybody clustered together. But of course, enemy bombs make that less than ideal. Uh, you could play with a team that's completely about mobility and being separate uh, and not worrying about teamwork. I, this, I just think it's a great game. I think it deserves amplification. And that's the thing. Uh, games like um, well, studios... Like Hairbrain Schemes, which have done all the Dragon, uh, the Dragonfall games. Uh, well, what is it? It's. Let me let me check again. <laughs> Shadowrun, the Shadowrun games. I think about it because it was Dragonfall. Shadowrun Dragonfall is the one I played, but that, I have Shadowrun Returns. I have all the Shadowrun games from them, and I would kind of like to put them on my channel too. They're a small company. Their games are great. There's no voice acting in them, so I have to do all the speaking of the lines. Um, now, some of you like my voice, so that might be okay, but I don't know how much I'm looking forward to to saying all those words. But I just think small companies like games. that that make great games deserve amplification. They deserve somebody out here saying, hey, take a look at this because it's awesome. So that's what's running through my head as far as games. As far as thinking about games. You guys, yep. So look at this. Where are we at with research? We're at 23k. And we got... Did, oh, we can't put that research thing down until it gets upgraded. Okay. Until it gets more people, it gets upgraded. I love this, though. I absolutely love greater than ourselves just taking care of this for me it's like yeah we got a bunch of jobs man yes you do keep them coming yeah this is what was this rulers merchant mm. oh yeah this is one of the trade hub ones okay so this is ring b3 but I'm gonna do this it's a T ring. Oh, that's not the way I wanted to do it though with the brackets. See, ding bong. Ding ding. Like that. And then there was another one here. I think it was D. Yep. Because I want to I want to remind myself to keep putting more consumer goods on this planet. And then we'll put a ministry of production on it. And that should really help with that. And it should crank this number up over time. So. That's where we're at, folks. Thanks for watching, as always. I dig you being here. I dig you watching my videos. I dig you hanging out. I dig your comments. As always, if you have a question or comment, drop it down below. I'm going to pause the video here. We'll stop it here. Salutations and goodbye. Um, <laughs> this has been something else, this inward perfection run. It's been pretty cool. So thanks for watching. If you dig the episode, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe. If you have a question or comment, drop it down below. And if you want to support my channel, my Patreon is listed in the description below. We've had some new Patreon supporters over this last month. I'm really pleased with that. You folks, your little your little donation of the of the cost of a cup of coffee for the whole month, that's perfect. Don't feel obligated to spend a lot of money. But if you want to throw a cup of a bucks my way it makes a big difference so thank you so much and uh, i love you all see you all next time